Good morning, YouTube. This is so random. This is so quick. I just went to go take my dog out, and right down here, you will never guess what I found. Crawler bear, my crawfish, was on the floor over here, out of its tank, entirely out of its tank. How did it get out? It is dead now. Obviously, crawler bear is not alive. It's probably been sitting here for hours upon hours. This happened overnight. How could this happen? How could this happen? This is crazy. Hold on. I'm going to try to see. Because I didn't touch anything on the cage. Or the tank. I keep saying cage. See, last night I went and I fed them. And I also added that pipe. Now, I don't know if that pipe... Since we put the aerator in the skull where Crawler Bear normally hangs out, these guys are so excited they think they're going to get fed. Let me turn on the light. See, normally Crawler Bear's in that skull hiding. We just added the aerator, so I bought the pipe. That PVC joint pipe, so at least Crawler Bear can have a second option to hide. So if that aerator is stressing him out, maybe he can go in there. That obviously was not good enough. I don't know if that adding that pipe spooked crawler bear because I see that's exactly where he got out right there <sighs> probably where I put that pipe and just and it just caught see it didn't catch that little that's the key right there see but that's crazy because if crawler bear could have got out through this little spot right here through there how could the crawfish not have crawled up that whole entire filter. How could that have not happened? Yes, I know, probably because there's no ground point to that filter. Climbing up the skull, then maybe climbing up the air tubing, and then out the back, and up through that crack. Oh, dude, what a bummer, man. What a bummer. Just lost my bearded dragon about a week and a half ago. The crawfish, that's a whole different level, of course, you know, but dang, man. Come on, crawler. So I'm gonna make one last effort since I just woke up. This has only been five minutes ago. I mean, this crawfish is lifeless, but I'm gonna try to put some water on it in the sink and just see if we could somewhat maybe get some life or movement out of it, but I don't think it's happening at all. Come on, crawler. Spunk back to life. We found this little crawfish. It was the size of a small shrimp, about the size of one of its claws right now. And this is reverse osmosis treated primed water so come on could you bounce back you never know I doubt it it's pretty lifeless crawl up come on nothing bummer Super bummer. Crawl bear even had some kind of like blue gray on the sides too. Oh man. We can go back to that same pond and try to find one just like you, but I don't know. That was a pretty lucky, lucky find. Dang. Oh, you'll be missed, Crawler. It's been a good how many months? Five, six, maybe even longer. Was living with the cichlids for a while. Lived under an aerator. This aerator, in fact, which actually is a good hide. I mean, I guess if you have a crawfish because it has such a huge hollow underside that, I mean, even a full grown crawfish could live under there. They could scoop out the rocks, make a burrow. But. We're not talking about crawfish care. The crawfish didn't make it. Watch those tank lids. If you do like crawfish and you do want to see Crawler Bear's journey from us um, building the cage and setting everything up for Crawler Bear, I mean, it was an awesome journey, but I mean, bummer, you know? I wanted to get another one for Crawler Fish, uh, for Crawler Fish, for Crawler Bear, a companion, maybe a blue, a white one, I don't know, but, or a really, really vibrant red one. But over time, I'll probably have to separate them too. You never know. My luck sometimes. Um, keep those tank lids tight. Triple check. Don't single check. Don't double. Don't double check. 
Can't even speak. Triple check. Double check your double checks. Make sure your lids are on tight. If you have a skate artist, check out some sealed topped uh, aquariums. They have some really tightly sealed ones that the lids actually open up and they come back down. They don't actually remove. Uh, they're on a hinge. But we're going to berry crawl a bear and we're going to see. I know there's a lot of things you could do with, um, you know, a lot of people feed their fish to other fish. I don't have a bigger fish really to feed this crawfish to. Um, I have a cichlid, but he's too small. I don't want him to sit there and pick at that thing all day while I'm at work. So we're going to bury it. Um, I'm not, if I was off today, maybe I'd say, hey, let's use crawl a bear for bait. I have more respect for my crawfish than that. So we're going to bury my crawfish really quick. Uh, it's not going to be a sad and sappy video like the other video I posted the other day with my bearded dragon who died. That one was a downer. This one's disappointing, and I didn't know what the heck it was. It honestly scared the crap out of me because I thought it was like a huge a crab in my house or a roach or something. What is that? But no, oh, it's my crawfish. Great. Yeah, I can. I don't know if I can let this tank set up go in vain. I think we're definitely going to have to replace Crawler Bear soon, so stay tuned because this tank isn't just going to be a Guppy and Molly tank for long. Have any of you had an escape artist crawfish before? Because I don't know. I have never really heard of this happening on instance like this, that it just crawls up and crawls out. I mean, they didn't even crawl a bear to crawl away. But lo and behold, my secret little pet cemetery. So this is where Big Mama is right here from our other video, which was our bearded dragon for eight long years, eight and a half years. Sorry, no, she was eight and a half years old. We had her for over seven years. We got her when she was just over a year. So that's Big Mama. And we are going to put Crawl a Bear softly to rest right next to Big Mama. Let's go a little over. All right, Crawl -a. You rest, you eat all your little carnivore pellets. And do not crawl out of the cage. <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. So that's the start of my day. It's really my son's crawler bear. Crawler, crawfish. <laughs> it's my son's crawfish. Little more than mine. So he's at school right now. He's going to be pretty upset. Oh, man. I'll deal with that, though. Such is life. A1A Adventures. And please, fill the comments below. Have you ever lost an animal to being an escape artist? Or have you ever lost any animal to just not wanting to be in their tank or in their cage? Let me know. Ultimately, what did you do to prevent that going forward?